Segu Sewagoegu. McGill University is located on, located on land which has long served as a site of meeting and exchange amongst Indigenous people, including the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe nations. McGill honours and recognises and respects these nations as traditional stewards of the land and waters on which we meet today. Thank you, Erin. Erin is our Nursing Undergraduate Student Society President, and you will be hearing from her later as well. My name is Madeline Buck, and I'm honoured to be the MC for today's uh, professionalism ceremony. And it's a great pleasure to welcome you all here, students, guests, faculty members, and for those of you who are viewing us on live stream, welcome to our ceremony. In particular, though, we would like to welcome the 123 BNI students who are new to our program. Where are you? The BNI students. There you go. Welcome to McGill University. This has been a busy week for many of you who sat the OIQ licensing exam on Monday. We hope it went well. And you're probably sighing, uh, breathing a sigh of relief as you catch up on all of your studies and family commitments, etc. Many of you are from our McGill Anglophone CGEP Consortium, but several of you this year are from other Quebec Nursing CGEP University Consortia, and we thank you for choosing us here at McGill. To all of you, thank you for choosing to continue your nursing education, given that other deck back and baccalaureate programs or options are open to you. We are especially thankful that you've chosen to become a baccalaureate nurse from McGill. 2020 will mark the 100th anniversary of the Ingram School of Nursing, and preparations are already underway for the celebration. So for those of you who are doing the two-year program full-time, you'll benefit from being able to say that you graduated from the class of 2020. So hang in there, do everything full-time, and then you'll be okay. You'll be all set. <laughs> uh, we welcome the uh, BSCN U1 class of 2021. Where are you? There you go. Great. Welcome. Of the over 1,200 applicants to this program, you are among the 146 new admits this year. Congratulations. Thank you for choosing nursing and of all the many nursing programs that you could have had options to study at within Quebec, Canada, and around the world. We thank you for opting to study with us here at McGill. We even have a few transfer students from other universities, other schools of nursing in Quebec, and other schools of nursing in Canada, and even one school of nursing from the United States. So welcome to McGill. And I'll be meeting with you to find out what was it that brought you here, and are you happy with your decision? To the BNI and BSCs, you're now among the 730 undergraduate students in our programs. We welcome the direct entry master students. Where are you? You must be sandwiched in the middle. Oh no, you're in the very front. <laughs> Sorry. I can't see well from up here. Well, welcome to you. Uh, thank you for wanting to build on your previous degree or degrees and to study at the only graduate program of this kind, an entry to practice graduate program into nursing in Canada. It's the only one that exists and we thank you for joining us. You make up 35% of our master's program. And we hope that you enjoy the synergy that happens when you meet the other 156 students in the other programs. For example, the advanced clinical practice stream, the nursing services administration stream, the global health stream, and of course our nurse practitioner streams, mental health, neonatology, primary care, and pediatrics. You'll also synergize with our PhD and postdoctoral students. You are all now among the 900 students currently studying in the Ingram School of Nursing. What a critical mass and what a difference you can and will make to our healthcare system within Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and around the world. And again, to the family and friends and faculty and anyone else joining us by live stream, we welcome you and hope that you enjoy our ceremony. And later you'll pour yourself a glass of wine or a cup of coffee and put some hors d'oeuvres while we go off and enjoy our celebration here in Moise Hall. We have a distinguished panel here to welcome you. We have Dr. David Eidelman, Dean and Vice Principal of Health Affairs here in the Faculty of Medicine and McGill University. Dr. Anita Gagno, Associate Dean, Faculty of Medicine and Director of the Ingram School of Nursing. We have Madame Lucie Tremblay, who is President of the Ordre des Infirmières et Infirmiers du Québec. Dr. Uh, Mr. Richard Ingram and Mrs. Satoko Ingram are here to welcome you. 
They're the Ingrams of the Ingram School of Nursing, and they made significant contributions to nursing here in McGill, in Montreal, and throughout the province. And I'm sure they made a difference everywhere else, and I just don't even know about it. Dr. Franco Carnavalli will be providing the keynote address, professor in our Ingram School of Nursing. Professor Jose Bonneau, director of the BNI Pro, of the, I'm sorry, direct entry master's program is not able to hear, be here, but I believe she has sent her regrets to you individually. And then we have faculty, uh, the directors of the BNI program, Elaine Doucette, an assistant program director, Annie Chevrier. We have Leah Sanzoni, who's the assistant program director of the BSCN, and I'm the BSCN program director. So we have a lot of people here to welcome you. Um, this event would not be happening without the support of our Nursing Student Affairs Office. They've been busy preparing for this event and they helped to seat you. Uh, under the leadership of Margie Gabriel, our Communications Officer Chris, Sarah Stack from the Faculty of Medicine, we'd like to thank them very much for all of their efforts in making this event possible. This ceremony was established to affirm the Ingram School of Nursing's faculty and student commitment to the nursing profession and to the personal and collective roles that we play in maintaining the highest standards in fulfilling our social contract with society. You have uh, in your hands the agenda, and I will call upon um, Dr. Gagnon to come up and give, the, uh, give her remarks. And the other speakers will follow sequentially, and followed by that, we'll proceed with the pinning, so we'll keep on track. Thank you very much. You can see these lights are quite bright, so it does make it difficult to see everyone, but it is great to see so many people that are continuing their studies in nursing and moving the profession forward. It's an important event, uh, the professionalism ceremony, where we'll all be reciting an oath together, making a pledge to professionalism in our practice as nurses and future nurses. I want to take uh, this moment to thank the faculty and staff behind the planning and coordination of this, our fourth annual nursing professionalism ceremony. Several have already been named uh, for you by Professor Buck. Leah Sanzoni, could you stand up so people can see you? Yes, uh, Leah Sanzoni, who really is the, the, the leader of this event and making sure it works well and uh, people are are very involved in the professionalism ceremony. Thank you, Leah. Margie, Gabriel, where are you? Margie might be outside. I can't see her here. Um, as you know, Margie is uh, the, the officer of the Student Affairs Office, uh, and she and her team uh, certainly did a lot of the work behind the scenes here. Uh, of course, thanking Madeline Buck for uh, being the MC of this ceremony and uh, Franco Carnavalli for the address that he will be given. I'd like to thank the other faculty members and, uh, and other uh, individuals in the audience for being here to support the students. And I want you to know that just before I came here, it seems that an email was sent telling the faculty uh, that it might be better for them to just look at this uh, through uh, the streamlining rather than coming because it was so packed. And it was actually quite fun to see the number of faculty that were just unable to read their emails. They just couldn't see it um, since they were already all dressed up and had always come every year uh, since this started. And so you see those people that can't read emails um, pretty much around you here. And I thank them for being here to support you all. Um, as, as you heard, there are uh, some uh, wonderful individuals with us. Dr. David Eidelman, uh, and I, I do want to give David a special thank you for everything he does for the School of Nursing. I've told him many times before, um, and I'll say it again, we have never had such a supportive dean uh, of the School of Nursing. So thank you, David, for that. He's also very supportive of the notion of interprofessional education, and you'll be seeing more and more of that as you go through the curriculum. Well, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Ingram have already been mentioned. Should I ask you guys to stand up? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Please. 
Yes. So our school is named after Richard Ingram, and uh, soon our clinical nursing laboratories are going to be named after his wife, uh, Satoko Shibata, in recognition of their continued and unwavering support of the School of Nursing. And to show our support last year, just so you can be clear on how grateful we were, they spent so much time talking to so many students that there was no wine or food left for them to have. And I believe that, I believe that this time that has been uh, sorted out. Chris assures me that they will find wine. Am I right, Chris? Yes, they are, will find food and wine. Um, and Madame Lucie Tremblay of the Quebec Order of Nurses, merci d'être parmi nous aujourd'hui. BSCN, BNI, qualifying year students, you're here today to make a pledge as you embark on your clinical studies within your educational programs at the Ingram School of Nursing. For some of you, you'll be continuing your experience in the clinical settings, and for others of you, it's going to be brand new. Whatever the case may be, providing direct care in the clinical settings is an experience that changes you in a multitude of ways. As you encounter each new experience and as your careers and futures take shape, remember your value as an individual and a nurse, and how highly you are regarded. A, ninth, a 2017 Canada-wide poll cites nurses as the country's most trusted professionals. As I have mentioned in orientation events earlier this semester, keep in mind that nurses provide 90% of all healthcare services worldwide. Let that sink in. 90% of healthcare services worldwide are provided by nurses, and your country sees you as one of the tr most trusted professionals that they can have interactions with. Your roles are key. No other healthcare professional has such a broad and far-reaching role. I want to thank you all for choosing the Ingram School of Nursing, and I wish each and every one of you continued success on your academic journey. I'd now like to welcome Dean Eidelman to say a few words. Merci. Alors, merci, Anita, et euh, au nom de l'Université McGill et la Faculté de médecine, c'est un privilège d'être parmi vous aujourd'hui euh, pour partager l'un des grands euh, moments de votre carrière et de votre vie professionnelle. So thank you very much for allowing me to speak. Thank you. It's a real pleasure to be here with Anita. She said some very kind words about me before, and I reciprocate in saying that we're, we're, the School of Nursing is in very, very good hands with her and her entire team. I also am pleased to be here with uh, Richard Ingram. You saw him stand up before with his wife, Satoko. And uh, he's the school's namesake. Uh, he is really passionate about nursing in a way that I've found few people ever to be so passionate. I remember meeting him even before I was dean, and he introduced himself. I'm the nursing guy, he said, and he is indeed. On est aussi très heureux d'accueillir Madame Lucie Tremblay, reconnue pour son leadership à la présidence de l'Ordre des infirmières et infirmiers du Québec. Well, we're here to celebrate an important milestone in the Ingram School of Nursing related to clinical training. And for many, uh, the BSCN and MSCN uh, nurses, this will take you what, take what you've learned and really help you to put into practice for the first time. And for the BNI students, you've already had this opportunity and this responsibility, and you'll now get to take what you've learned even further. These transitions can be uh, both uh, intense and exhilarating. They can be, well, they're, they're very exciting, if, especially for those of you who haven't had the chance to really be clinically involved before. And they also have the potential to transform you. Um, this is the point in your career where you develop new competencies, where you care for people from different walks of life, different cultures, backgrounds, and varying conditions and circumstances. And while your skills and uh, sensitivities will evolve, you'll really learn a lot about yourself and what helps to make you excellent as a nurse. You'll learn about your strengths and your limits and how to surmount the latter. And a very important part is learning how to balance between your work life and your personal life 
and uh, looking after your own well-being in order to be able to be effective uh, as a, a caregiver for your patients. It's a particularly exciting time, in my view, to be a student in nursing. You heard uh, the director of the school give you a pep talk about how important nurses are. I, I entirely share that point of view. But I think uh, it even goes beyond being the most trusted profession and being uh, responsible for 90% of, of care. It's also the uh, evolution of nursing as a profession uh, where nurses now uh, take leadership roles in uh, various aspects of, med of, of medical and healthcare in general. Uh, but most importantly, uh, as we see a change in the way in which healthcare is practiced uh, with the advent of technology, it empowers all healthcare professionals, and nurses in particular, to really play an extraordinary role. And the Ingram School of Nursing is leading the way in developing these approaches. Um, the school has, as you probably know, a revised curriculum emphasizing strength-based nursing. And I believe that this uh, curriculum, which really is exciting, will help to uh, really strengthen the quality of the education that you're, gonna, that you're receiving help you sharpen your clinical skills, and, and help you to better prepare to meet your current, current and future needs of, uh, of society. And as Anita mentioned, I'm very keen on interprofessionalism. Um, when, I, when I graduated from medical school, uh, there was no interaction at all with nurses until we gr graduated or until we were on the floors. And then it was like two, uh, two different tribes who didn't really have anything to do with each other. The future of healthcare is interprofessional. The future of healthcare is teams sometimes led by doctors, but it's often led by nurses, teams of people working together for the best interests of their patients or clients, depending on the situation. And I think that you'll see during your career a great evolution as you move away from the traditional model of nursing to one in which uh, nurses are uh, really in the lead in uh, looking after the needs of patients and their families. So you've reached this milestone uh, for a reason. You obviously have what it takes. And c'est donc avec grand plaisir que je vous accueille dans cette prochaine phase de votre parcours au sein de Réseau Megan. Je vous souhaite le plus franc des succès. Uh, félicitations, congratulations. Have a great time. Right. impressive to be in front of you today to see this room full of future nurses. It, it gives me chills. So as you can hear, I have this little accent, so I hope that you'll be able to understand everything that I'm trying to say. I want to welcome you uh, into this wonderful profession. Uh, seeing all of you, it reminds me when myself was going to this, uh, this path to learn about how nursing can change the life of the patient you'll be taking care of. Previously, we were talking about the trust that the population has in you. And this trust is based on your competency. And you have to, uh, to um, bloom, uh, to, to la faire grandir this, uh, this confidence with the patient that you'll be taking care of. I am very, very confident that the expertise, the competencies that you will develop over the next few years will be helping to shape the future of nursing here in Quebec and all over the world. We're at a crossroad right now. Healthcare is changing. The needs of the population is changing. The needs are more complex. We have more and more chronic illnesses. We need to move from the hospital model to the community model. And this is what the university training will help you to achieve, to change, to transform. And you have to have trust in yourself that you will be the generation that will transform our healthcare system. Never take no for an answer. As a president of the Order of Nurses, the organization that regulates the profession, we're in charge of ensuring the uh, public interest, the safe care, making sure that you have all the competency to, to do that. 
And I am confident that not only during your training, you'll be able to develop this competency, competency, but throughout your entire career, because what you're learning today might be quite different in two years, three years, and if you're thinking of uh, when you're going to be uh, an older nurse, things will be completely different. So throughout your parcours, you have to make sure that you're making uh, sure that your competencies are up to date. To have safe and quality nursing practice, you will also have to take leadership to make sure that what you're learning right now will be applied in your milieu de soins to make sure that you'll be fully occupying your full scope of practice. Unfortunately, right now, only 50% of the scope of practice is occupied by nurses. What is, how can we take care of the patient if we're not there fully for them? So I have trust in you that you'll be able to practice up to your competency and do everything that you're learning in university. Once you graduate and you have your license in hand, you'll have the privilege to have this very special contact with the clientele. Where are the professionals that are the closest to the patient? We're there seven days a week, 24 hours a day, and we do make a difference and never forget about that. The oath that you will take this afternoon and the identification you display and more, it are more than just a symbol. It demonstrates how you are joining this, this family of nurses and that will demonstrate that you are part of, of this community that believes that integrity is important, that respect for human beings is important, that communication with the patient is so important, that the autonomy, the competency, the excellence in care is important. These are the values of the nursing profession. So I sincerely hope that you will take full advantage of this period, this period in your life where you can learn from each other, from your teachers, from the nurses that you'll meet in the, in the community and in the clinical settings, and that We'll see each other once you graduated. So, je vous, je vous accueille. I welcome you into the greatest profession in the world. Dean Eidelman, Associate Dean Gagnon, uh, Madame Tremblay, and especially the pinning class of 2018. On May 12th, I celebrated a birthday. Did you celebrate it too? May 12th is the birthday of Florence Nightingale, the renowned pioneer of modern nursing science. Were she here with us today, she would be awestruck by the nursing knowledge and skills you have already acquired at the outset of your young careers. Her eyes would be welling up with copious tears, her chest pounding with pride over what you have already accomplished. For you are studying nursing at, U at McGill University, one of the re elite research universities in the world. Your knowledge and clinical skills far surpass those of Florence Nightingale. But I pose this question to each of you. Is McGill teaching you to think is McGill teaching you to think 
Critically, while almost 100% of nursing research funding is directed to the work of PhDs and their grad students, the great bulk of advancement in both skills and knowledge arises from the observations of millions of nurses working in clinical and community settings. Every human being has insights. Have you learned to doggedly pursue your insights? Let me give you a recent example from the realm of McGill's own hospitals. At the Montreal Children's Hospital, Jan Lariviere, a CGEPS prepared RN, working in the neonate ICU, wondered whether it would be useful to encourage the mums to read stories to their critically ill babies, even though their babies could not understand their mother's words. Jan had asked her colleagues about it. Aided by trained researchers, she had done lit searches, but nowhere could she find guidance. So she performed an ethical study over one year. Lo and behold, she discovered that the infants of reading mums had better recovery rates. She discovered that distraught mums who are desperately seeking ways to comfort their offspring find purpose in the reading. She discovered that it reduces mums stress, which is also detected by her baby. Jan Lariviere's work went viral in the Quebec media. Jan has transformed the practice. Jan has discovered the obvious. Is McGill teaching you to think critically? I hope this example from within the ranks of your colleagues will inspire you throughout your career to doggedly pursue your insights. At the end of the day, at the end of your career, some of your most treasured memories will be rooted in situations where your proactivity made a difference, where you advanced the science of nursing. Let me close with this invocation. May the spirit of Florence and Jan inspire each of you, bringing you immense satisfaction throughout your career. Amen. It's such an honor to address you today during this wonderful ceremony. C'est un grand honneur de vous entretenir aujourd'hui au cours de cette merveilleuse cérémonie. Today, you'll pledge your commitment to nursing and to the persons, families, and communities that you'll work with. For those of you who've already completed nursing preparation in our CGEP programs, today you'll be renewing your pledge to our profession as you also commit to further developing your knowledge and your practice. And we're so happy that you've decided to further your studies with us. You'll be making your pledge to nursing, a pledge that's grounded in the values of the Ingram School of Nursing. As a nursing faculty, we're responsible for ensuring the preparation of knowledgeable, skillful, 
and professional nurses. Les infirmières qui peuvent, être, qui peuvent se voir confier les responsabilités de notre profession à l'égard de la société. We will pin you with our McGill nursing pin to show our trust in you. With this trust, as a McGill nursing student wearing our pin, the persons that you encounter, patients, clients, families, nurses, and other professionals, they will know that you have our trust. La confiance est un élément très important de l'honneur d'être un infirmier ou une infirmière. Trust is the foundation upon which we promote the health and well-being of the persons, families, and communities that we work with. Building on what uh, Dr. Gagnon said before, turning to another survey, the survey organization Gallup has conducted annual surveys since 1999 to ask Americans to rate the honesty and ethics of various professions. Nurses have topped the list every year with the exception of 2001 when firefighters were first for their work during the 9-11 attacks. This trust should never be taken for granted or abused. Ceci est une confiance que nous avons méritée mais que nous devons continuellement conserver. As you prepare to take your pledge in nursing, let me highlight what it means when you and I say, I am a nurse. It means many things. In a strictly legal sense, it means that I'm a member of l'Ordre des infirmières et infirmiers du Québec, which gives me a permit to practice nursing in Quebec similar to other jurisdictions in Canada and the United States. The order has the responsibility for regulating the practice of nursing to protect the public interest. Becoming a member of l'Ordre des infirmières et infirmiers du Québec means that I've successfully completed the required education in nursing, that I am in good standing by not violating the order's professional standards, and that I've successfully passed the order's licensing exam. I have to continually conduct myself in a professional manner that merits my recognition by the order as a licensed professional nurse. On this road to registration as a nurse, you're starting with your registration as a nursing student with the order. This authorizes you to engage in the clinical activities that you'll need to develop as a nurse. And for the BNI students, to further develop your nursing. So, when I say I am a nurse, legally, it means that I have a permit to practice from the order. But it means so much more. When people ask me, what do you do? My immediate answer, without any hesitation, is always, I am a nurse. I never say I am just a nurse. And nursing is not what I do. It's who I am. It's a deep part of my personal identity. This is an important way in which we distinguish a profession from an occupation. An occupation is what you do. A profession entails a greater personal commitment it becomes integrated into your sense of who you are. I'm always a nurse. When a passenger on a metro has an unstable airway because he's having a seizure. When I notice an older person on the street that seems upset or disoriented. Or at a public meeting where a health concern in the community is being discussed. I'm always a nurse. Je dois toujours agir d'une façon qui démontre les valeurs et la dignité de ma profession. Even in my personal life, at social events, and in social media, I must always act responsibly. I must not compromise the public image of nurses, because this might undermine the special trust that has been cultivated and earned through the work of so many dedicated nurses that came before me. The 
values that underlie professional nursing have been developed from many sources. For example, the ethical duties stipulated in the Code of Ethics for Nurses in Quebec are based on foundational nursing values such as integrity, respect for the client, professional autonomy, professional competence, excellence in care, professional collaboration, and humanity. These values help define the moral foundations for nursing as a profession. Moreover, we should practice our profession with a strong commitment to interprofessional collaboration to help ensure that the persons, families, and communities that we work with can rely on the richest possible complementarity and synergy that can be fueled through deeply engaged and respectful partnerships among the health professions. At the Ingram School of Nursing, we've built upon these general values to develop a more specific conception of professional nursing practice. Under the leadership of Dr. Lori Godley and many other faculty, our school has articulated a vision for strengths-based nursing, which is based on eight underlying values. As students in our nursing programs, you'll be learning all about these moral foundations of nursing, the foundations that define the substance of what you and I mean when we say, I am a nurse. Let's continually look to these values to help us define our vision of professional nursing. When we face difficult situations where we see practices that compromise the values of our profession and breach the respect for human dignity, let's draw on each other's expertise and support to build the moral courage to confront these difficulties and to promote our advocacy for what's right and the courage to act right when others may tell you otherwise. Let's bolster our moral courage by being mindful that nurses are everywhere within our society and globally. We're in hospitals, community clinics and organizations, on the streets with the homeless. We're in schools, workplaces, and prisons. We are in indigenous communities and in remote areas of the world amidst tremendous social inequities and injustices. We're in refugee camps and in war zones. We are everywhere. Notre, import, notre importance et notre influence est énorme. On this day of pledging your commitment to nursing, I call on all of us to commit to working together as nurses in collaboration with our professional partners to promote the moral values that underlie our magnificent profession. And that we actively engage with dedication and integrity to promote the health and well-being of the persons, families, and communities that we work with. I was licensed as a nurse in Quebec in 1978, after completing the BSCN program at McGill. Forty years have passed, and I remain equally, if not even more, deeply, deeply committed to nursing. I hope for you today, and in the many years that follow, that you will feel the pride, the strength, the devotion and the passion that I feel when I say I am a nurse. I salute you as you pledge your commitment to this beautiful, wonderful profession, nursing. Thank you, Dr. Carnavalli, and congratulations on your 40th anniversary of graduation. 
so you have your pins in your envelopes and you've placed them on your lapels. You have the McGill symbol with the martlets clearly distinguishing you as a McGill student. So by virtue of this pin, you will publi be publicly recognized as a nurse or nursing student studying at McGill. And you will now represent McGill in all of the expect and all of the expectations that go with this title and your affiliation. I'll now call upon my colleagues um, who will call you individually in alphabetical order based on program. I believe we're proceeding with the BSCNs first. I'm sorry, the qualifying year students first, then the BSCN students, and then the BNI students. You will come up to the podium as you're called and you'll proceed and photos will be taken with the respective program directors so that you will have a memory of this event, and so will we, um, and then we'll proceed with the pledge. Claudia Antonacci. Ashley Baker. Benjamin Buzo. Michelle Cassar, Kimberly Chagnon. <laughs> Tiffany Glodoviza, Suhani Jaya Neti. Marie Lardo, Jennifer Lee. Joanne Lorvinsky, Chris Thompson. Makoto Yusuki, Emil Vitug. <laughs> Melissa Waldner, Natasha Wills Ibarra. Linda Su, Fatima Yashin. Valentina Abati, Giovanna Alfano. <laughs> Dan
Valérie Audet, Miriam Azam. Christine Balthazar, Ramla Bariz. <laughs> Elise Bastings, Chloe Beauchamp. Brianna Beach, Arba Bekteshi. <laughs> Zoe Bell, Mayan Benzaquen. Mira Binding, Christina Bolagrin. <laughs> Julia Bolnavo, Emily Bortoluso Curnaval. Kaylin Chalk, Olga Chavaski. <laughs> Constance Chen, Jasmine Chevrier. Carly Chividino, Maggie Clancy. <laughs> Sarah Contardo Giard, Lindsay Cunningham. Sarah, Chloe Covilli, Eloise Dagno. <laughs> Daria Dezinovich, Zi Chen Dong. Dominique Dandura Bandi Dilara Ever. <laughs> Haley Evelyn Christina Philosten. Ty Fraser, Jessica Fu. <laughs> A 
Elena G. Desi Guerguera. Kati Han. Yvonne He Lee Osman. <laughs> Charlotte Hu Meredith Hughes. Aliana Jamel Abrima Kanga Shingham. Talar Kalindian Yusra Kituch. Danny Kong, Ling Jing Yak Kong. <laughs> For Tios Kufales, Chloe Kuang. Claudia Lapointe, Sharon Luang. <laughs> Lily, Lily Lee, Christina Liang. and Sophia Lin. <laughs> Leslie Liu, Gabrielle Lombardo Martinez. Xavier Maldo, Lori Martin. <laughs> Nicole Maya, Caitlin Mello Medeiros. Clara Meloche, Shamira Mohamed. Liliana Morello, Theo Mosher. Lynn Nguyen, Alexa Nunziato. <laughs> Alexandra Onsi, Lynn Orphe.
Mariana Pagnota, Paulina Panfilova. Annalise Patzer, Crystal Fun. Rosetta Priman, Prim, Prim, sorry. Prime Rano and Constance Rambat. Sadia Rashid and Samia Rashid. Kozia Ravi Singham and Keshen Rosuni. Thomas Sekali and Alexandra Sarmiento. <laughs> Sophia Sinikan, Yenli Sia. Bushra Smail, Patrick Snyder. Maddie Soldwich, Astina Stanislas. Gabrielle Saint Martin, Deborah Sue, <laughs> Alex Tam, Nila Nilani Turase Singham. Musa Torre, Lee Tracy. <laughs> Katie Tracy, Emily Vio. Joshua Vizario, Sarah Voisar. <laughs> Aviva Wang, Sydney Wasserman. Iris Wu, Sarah Wu. <laughs> Yiran Wu and Zhu Yi. Okay. Mackenzie Yasuda. Melanie Yip, Yaruda Yoshida. <laughs> H 
Hilary Zeitz, and Zoe Zhao. And last but not least, Rowena Zong. Cassandra Eroldi. Glenda Alvarez. Emilia Aruo Solanja Aruldas. Nicole Aslain, Lydia Oberg. <laughs> That's not the same name I have here. Marjorie Baldoza, Holly Bertra, Sarah Bertra, Amina Bibi. Bien aimé, Cassandra Bilodo. <laughs> Ash Ashley Blackburn Wallet, Jessica Bogdansky. Delphine Bouchard, Alexandra Bourg. Jane Annie Bruni, Alia Alexis Bueno. Miriam Carlos Gabriel Caron. <laughs> Chloe Caron Lavoie Andrea, Andrea Chandales Monroy. Zijia Chu, Andrian Simon. Okay. 
Mallory Quadge, Alexandre Cloître. Denisa Kokonetu, Amanda Cohen. Delicia Conliffe, Amanda Da Silva Gafor. Alexandra Dallaire Jade Dandura. Emily Das Martin Dauphina. Liana Dedian Carabella Dericuito. Rodrigo Diaz Lamas Alexandre Duranzin. Sophie Duchemin, Ashley Duprat. Melissa Edery Rabinovich. <laughs> Stephanie Edward. Aya L. Oops, <laughs> going too fast, sorry. Okay. Aya El Musawi, Katrina Filiatro. <laughs> Hélène Fournier, Joanie Gagnon, La Joie. Leslie Gamay, Vanessa Gauthier. <laughs> André Girard, Adriana Gilles Chasson. Taylor Greenstein, Chloe Grignot. <laughs> Kiev Guerin, Anna Gosben Escobar. Diva Hadef, Maria Ruana Hajeris, Marcy Horge, 
Christine Horonowicz. Valerie Hull. Gabriela Ivanova. Whitney Gianti Larissa Job. Flory Jr. Saudi K. Ayesha Khan. Nivaeta Krishna Napile. Anaïs Laberge Catherine Lacasse. Julie Langlois, Miriam Laniel. Morgan Lassery, Stephanie Lécuyer. <laughs> Tiffany Leonard, Maria Lesnoy. Dahlia Lichman, Yuxin Liu. Maha Marufi, Elizabeth McDonald. Sophia Makar, Elisa Manarino. <laughs> Sabrina Marqueta, Sara Marcillo. Jennifer Mbaka, Nongonwi Mazanga. <laughs> Kayla McCartney, Samantha McCullough.
Stefan Meja Rodriguez, Veronique Menasa. Crystal Joy Menendez, Kaylee Metcalf. Jania Mihova, Emma Minichelli. Vanessa Montanaro, Monica Moore. Sarah Nasralla, Dondeline Nerestat. Aileen Ohoy, Queen Okiki. Lan Nugan, <laughs> Morinkichi Olowande, <laughs> Laura Andrick. Vanessa Mary Oriel, <laughs> Laura Packer, Jessica Passarelli, Jignasha Patel. <laughs> Carolyn Peters, Nihimi Pierre-Louis. Vanessa Pontililo, Leila Rabel. Marie Jasmine Rainville, Lauren Ravazano. Ana Maria Rota, Bella Saliba. Sarah Salzani, Michelle Samaha. Marina Shumova, Javeria Sadiq.
Jennifer Smiley, Bianca Sokolik. Alicia Spence, Abirami Seranganathan. <laughs> Eve Saint Laurent, Kelsey Saint Hilaire. I love your name. <laughs> Eve Saint Laurent. <laughs> Rebecca. Chanel Saint Pierre Carrick, Rebecca Sutton. Kayla Taliamonte Marchoni. Lawrence Tegada. <laughs> Katrina Tevano, Cheyenne Thomas. Emma Thompson, Amanda Trulner. <laughs> Rafaela Todaro, Katie Tranter. Justin Trudel, Guillaume Varenka. Charlotte Wiersi, Alexandra Sat Satlini. Cassandra Sitinski. So that concludes the photos. This is actually a trial run for convocation. Because <laughs> you'll do the same in two or three years. Uh, 
Wonderful. You'll get um, sent these photos, and it's a lovely souvenir. I know as a faculty member, I enjoy having them in, as a souvenir and hope that you will, you will as well. So we'll now proceed to the reading or the recitation of the oath. I would like to call upon Aaron Patton, who is the president of the Nursing Undergraduate Society, and Jasmine Alami, who is the president of the Nursing Graduate Students Association. They will lead you in the reading of the oath. You can find the oath in the front of your booklet. And just to let you know that um, this oath was actually written by nursing students. It was a dedicated group of students, uh, undergraduate, BNI, BSc, as well as direct entry master students, who took the time to demonstrate their commitment uh, to the nursing profession by creating this testimonial for you. As the students recite the oath, we call upon faculty members to also uh, recite the oath so that you can reaffirm your commitment to the profession and society. Hi everyone, my name is Jasmine Alami. I'm the president of the Graduate Student Association. I'll be reciting the oath in French. So to all of those of you who can speak French, please follow along. All right, here we go. On the first page. Everyone stand up. <laughs> all right, here we go. À l'aube de mon parcours comme étudiante à l'École des sciences infirmières Ingram, je m'engage solennellement au service de l'humanité. J'aspire à pratiquer ma profession au plus haut de ma conscience et avec dignité. Je m'engage à promouvoir la santé pour tous en s'assurant d'offrir des soins holistiques aux individus, familles et communautés En respectant les normes de pratique les plus élevées, j'appuierai mes interventions sur des pratiques exemplaires et des données probantes. J'aspire à incarner l'art infirmier en reconnaissant les forces de chacun et en agissant avec présence, compassion, sagesse, attention et ouverture d'esprit. Je m'engage à collaborer avec mes collègues de toutes les professions et à approfondir mes connaissances scientifiques et mon savoir infirmier. Tout au long de ma carrière, j'exercerai mon leadership afin de contribuer au développement de ma noble profession. Je fais cette promesse sur mon honneur et en toute liberté alors que j'entreprends ma profession avec enthousiasme et fierté. Merci. Thank you, Jasmine. I'm Erin, I'm the NUS president, and I'll be reciting the oath in English. As I begin my journey as a student at the Ingram School of Nursing, I solemnly pledge myself to the service of humanity. I will endeavor to practice my profession with conscience and with dignity. I will promote health for all through the holistic care of individuals, families, and communities. The standards of evidence-informed practice. I will strive to embody the art of nursing by recognizing strengths, acting with compassion, wisdom, openness, and presence. I will commit to interdisciplinary collaboration and lifelong learning, building on my foundation of science and taking a leadership role to advance the development of my noble profession. I make these promises freely and upon my honor as I embark on my profession with enthusiasm and pride. very much, uh, Aaron and Jasmine. We hope that you keep this booklet as a souvenir. 
We hope that you've enjoyed the formal part of the professionalism ceremony. As students, as you enter into studying nursing at McGill University, Franco, Dr. Carnavalli is celebrating his 40th year. Some of us are celebrating that next year. Some maybe have even celebrated 40 plus years. And I think all of us who have been in the profession for some time now can only hope that you will enjoy the profession as much as we have. I will speak collectively on behalf of my colleagues. I was a nursing student at McGill in 1976. And I won't add up the number of years, but that adds up to quite a few years at McGill and in the McGill University Teaching Hospital network. When I started my nursing career in 1979, I was the only baccalaureate nurse on a unit with 70 nurses. I was discouraged from wearing my McGill pin, and unfortunately, I abided by the request of the head nurse to maybe not wear it for the first few months of my work before people accepted me for who I was. I hope that now that you have your pin, you will wear it proudly and will not hide it in your pocket. I will always regret that decision, and I will now wear my pin forever, very proudly, as I hope that you will as well. To those of you joining us at home, it's time to put the hors d'oeuvres in the microwave. <laughs> Uncork your bottle of wine, or your cup of coffee, your soda, water, whatever, because we're going to be going out into the hallway here and enjoy a lovely celebration. And we encourage you all to mingle. The BSC, BNI, and DEs all start getting to know each other as groups and then as intergroups. And it's a time for faculty uh, and our, our um, esteemed guests to mingle with you as well and wish you well in your journey and your studies here at McGill. Congratulations and welcome aboard. Enjoy the rest of the day.